All right, we got to watch traffic here. Thank you. Thank you. It is raining. It's nasty out. It's like the sky is crying. This is the final week before Solo Star Wars story premieres. Um, it's bad news. It's bad news. All around. Reviews are coming in, and of course, the Rotten Tomatoes score is sinking by the minute. Went from 73 to 71. Uh, look at this. Customers holding unredeemed gift cards, Jeffrey Money, or either or other tender will no longer be accepted. Yeah, sorry. April 21st, it was over. Did that say 21st or 22nd? I don't know. All right, so let's get a shopping cart here. Let's see what's going on. Ugh. We're no longer in Orlando. Ew. 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 Disgusting. All right, let's go. You don't, you don't blow your nose and put a tissue in a shopping cart. All right, this is what we're looking for right here. Ultimately, this is, this is what we're taking home today. Um, it has been badly discounted. Uh, look at this, $124.99. Nobody bought one of these. This is, a, this is scandalous. They've got a whole pallet of these here and a bunch of them uh, all over the store, really. I mean, everybody everybody saw these and went, I, I don't, my kids don't want this. My kids don't want, th they don't want this. They don't want it. Uh, I'm gonna get it though, because one of you smart Alex gave me a huge super chat and told me to actually buy this thing. So I gotta buy one of these things. I gotta test it out. Am I gonna sit in it? I don't really know. I don't know. I might. I might take it and drag race it down my street. We'll see. I'm 43 years old, but, you know, I can still rock. All right, let's go over to see the Star Wars uh, section. This Toys R Us is very clean. It's much better than Walmart. I was going to live stream from a Walmart, and I went, I, I can't. It's, it's disgusting in there. This is still very nicely organized. Yeah, it's nice. Look at this. Here we go. This is what it looks like. Happy birthday, Floofy Coon. Uh, run over, I don't have a Prius. Who do you think you're talking to? I drive a Ford, Ford Explorer. <laughs> Look at this thing. Why am I buying one of these? I don't want it. I don't want it. We're gonna, I think we're gonna have to just totally thrash this thing. I don't know. Uh, it looks like uh, some of you, what is this? Chris Stafford says, just message you on Twitter from Zombie FM Radio. Well, as you can see, I am elsewhere. I'm doing things. I'm doing my other job. Oh, see these wheels here. Yeah, I mean, they're just like big wheels. Is this motorized? It might be motorized, too. All right, let's check out the Star Wars toys that are available here. We have a big fig. Why? Why? Seriously? A big fig Jin Urso. Look at her smirk. Look at her smirk. I wonder how much this is. I don't know. It's distressing. Yeah, we've only got one more month until this Toys R Us closes down for good. Um, people are taking it well. Oh, we got a clearance ad at. Original price, 299 Now they want to sell it at $149.98. Uh... Can you see what I'm showing? Yeah, we're, we're gonna look for Tico's, don't worry. Uh, this is interesting. I might get one of these. Do I need to get an ad at and review it? I don't know. Can you guys see, is the picture coming through okay? You guys let me know. I'm in, I'm in Cherry Hill, New Jersey, a little far from, uh, okay, yeah, you guys can see everything? Great. Um, also, there's this that I was thinking about picking up and reviewing. Uh, I don't know. It's a bit blurry for you guys, some of you, you're saying? Okay. All right. Well, I don't know. Maybe it'll change. Maybe it'll get better. Rogue One. I, okay, so we tested. No, I I have that at home. I got to review that. That is sitting, waiting to be reviewed. But I don't have one of these, and I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Look at this. Look at this R2-D2 unit here. C2-B5. They don't even care. They just make, make up... R2-D2, C2-B5, just make something up. Uh, yeah, good stuff. Might get one of those. Let's see about the Tico situation. Uh, I feel like I've cleaned out the Ticos in uh, South Jersey. 
Uh, if that isn't the case, uh, I will amend that. Uh, I'm definitely interested. Ooh, definitely interested in uh, getting Tico's. Wow, we got uh, Star Wars midgets right here. That's interesting. And uh, one of those. We do have the gigantic BB-8. Um, oh, thank you, Mark. Uh, thank you, Mark Petty, for five dollars for the Rebellion, Ian. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, one of these, uh, look at the size of this thing. I mean, that's, uh, I don't know. And you open it up and there's a playset, but it does come with two figures. It comes with this Praetorian Guard. It comes with a Supreme Leader Snoke. And look at this, he doesn't, like, he's not a Snoke that you can get naked. He's uh, just a regular, his cloth, his uh, robe is molded on, it's plastic. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's see if there are any Ticos. Uh, we have a lot of Jin Ursos. You know, again, I, I say it, uh, I tell you guys this, and it's true. Um, when I went to work for Playmates Toys, they said we only make one female character action figure per palette because female characters don't sell. And I didn't believe it. I didn't understand that that, that was the case. But look, these are all, look, what, it, it, I mean, you have these. You got these, uh, this Rogue One set that apparently didn't do too well. Uh, you can get a pilot. Uh, a TIE fighter pilot. But yeah, in general. Ooh, what is this? Hi guys, hello. Jin Ursu and Tonic. That sounds pretty good right now. Um, let's see. Thank you, Gold Fox 177 for dollar ninety nine. Any force FX lightsabers, only thing I'd buy. Uh, if I see one I'll uh, you know I'll let you know. Mostly they have these cheap lightsabers right here. Um, the Force FX lightsabers, I don't know if they carry them in Toys R Us. Uh, that looks ridiculous. Thank you, Nikos R, for $1.99. Uh, Tons River Toys R Us still has some Tico. Um, interesting, interesting. This is a lot of stuff here, right here. I mean, I haven't seen these before. We got a lot of the, uh... Ew. Ew. Ew, why would you buy that? Am I going to buy this and review it? This chunk? Uh, I don't know. I, I can't get myself to buy any of this new stuff. Uh, it's tough. It really is tough because when I get it home, I, I just feel like I treat it with utter contempt. Um, let's see this. Oh, this is kind of neat. I love snow troopers. Um, flying electric razor. That's what it looks like. Lately, I swear to God, over at Lucasfilm... They just grab everyday objects. Like, hey, here's a Bible. You know, let's uh, put two seats in it and call it uh, call it a vehicle for Star Wars. They just they just can't. They don't make them like they used to. This is really nice too. Thank you, MZ Varina, for dawn. And I want the cute Chewy you showed the other day. Okay, hold on. Let's go find that. All right, I'm gonna buy this. I'm gonna because this is just so bad. I'm gonna buy it. I'm thinking about this one. Uh, it looks like it, it looks like there's a lot to it. I might review it. Should I review this? Yes or no? How much DC Comics toys do they have? I don't know. We could go look at that stuff. Uh, snow speeder. That's what this is. This is like a, this is kind of a snow speeder, I think. But it's chunky. Why does everything look like a brick now? Why does everything look like a brick? People are saying yes. Okay, we'll buy that too. That is fine. You guys watch the videos, click like on them. It ends up kind of paying for all these toys. Um, so it's quite all good. Um, let's see. I don't see any Force FX lightsabers. Ugh, God, this is just dismal. Uh, there is... Ooh, what is this? You got to be kidding me. Whoa. Whoa. This is actually a better Millennium Falcon uh, than the new one. Uh, yeah, very nice. All right, this is this is going in here. We might actually uh, put that in the garbage. Uh, that, that's going to be another another review. All right, let's see. Oh, so here's the. Uh, I think these are the Chewbaccas you were talking about. These? You're talking about this? Somebody put a humidifier here. Uh, 
I can't. It's awful. Are you serious? You want this? I wouldn't buy this for my child. Joseph Citadino says, get more Tico. Uh, thank you for $2. I would. I just, oh, look, he comes with a pork. He comes with a little pork. This is hideous. Why is his head so big? Why is his head like this? I can't believe it. It doesn't like, why would you do this? This isn't even like, this doesn't even look like his kid. Oh my God. Lighter fluid. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I can't, I don't even know how I would make a video of this thing. This is nice though. Try me. Don't mind if I do. Thank you for a dollar ninety nine, MZ Verena. No, not that one. Uh, okay, I'll keep looking. What? That's it. Like it looks like you bother him. You press his chest, and it's like you woke him up out of deep sleep. Exo uh, Gileson, thank you for five dollars. Five bucks for the toy fund. Thank you, Uncle Ethan. You're welcome. Look at him. He looks pissed off. Hold on, let's do it again. Let's bother Darth Vader. Whoa. Yikes. Yeah, he like you really bothered him when you woke him up. They have huge stuff here. What in, what on earth is this? You gotta be joking. This is a gigantic TIE fighter. I have never seen this. And it, it works for um Oh my gosh, it works for the uh, these size figures, the Black Series figures. It's to scale with those. That is amazing. Look at all this expensive stuff that nobody bought. This is the problem. I mean, thank you for uh, $2. Alan McCarley, do not body shame the fat speeder. Uh, I won't. Um, this is the problem right here. You can't just make things like this. These are, these are wonderful, but like who's going to buy them? This is, too exp this is crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Is it heavily discounted now? I would think so. Everything is 30% off uh, of that price there. So if it's 150, it's now $105 for that um, Tide Fighter. It's a, I mean, it's a good price, but I just don't think <laughs> this is why. Oh, my God. Yeah, the reviews for Solo are not good. They're not good. Okay, so this Tide Fighter, like I just said, is $105. I just don't know. I don't know. I don't like these. Uh, I don't like these black series figures. I just don't dig them. Uh, there are zero Ticos. There are zero Ticos here. Uh, it is shocking. I think I have upped uh, the demand for Tico. Uh, I think I have changed things. I, in fact, I don't see any. I don't really see any modern. Or like more recent uh, action figures at all. Maybe there's somewhere else. We'll keep looking. Oh, here's one. We have, uh, we got one of these dudes here, General Hux. Uh, he can go to hell. Uh, but it's all, I mean, it's, it's just a ton of, who, who knew that like kids wouldn't want to play, little boys wouldn't want to play uh, with the skinny woman in a headscarf? Who knew? Who knew that that would be a disaster? Oh, look, here's the automobile. The skinny woman in a headscarf. Surprising. It's surprising that they didn't fly off the shelves. Never would have guessed. We got a Millennium Falcon launcher here. What is this? Thank you, Rocket Thwaite, for $2. Is this the Cherry Hill Toys R Us? I work there. Well, you're not here now, are you? I am. Um, this is just pretty cool. Uh, Star Wars flight controller. It flies up to three starships. What do you mean? Does it actually shoot them at people? I don't think it shoots them at people. That that would be my concern. I would I would want I would want to shoot them at people. Um. Oh, that's kind of nice down there too. There's just so much junk, so much unsold junk. Oh my god. That little Ada, it's like a mini Ada. You can try him. Let's try him. Press this button. What does he do? He does nothing. He just fails. He does absolutely nothing. 
uh, yeah, I mean, the only thing that, like, I'm really, truly impressed with is this huge TIE fighter. And I'm mostly impressed with just the audacity of it. Here's another one sitting here. Uh, I'm sure there are 10 in this store right now. I can't imagine even one of them sold. I can't imagine even one of them sold. Yeah. Benjamin Blatt, thank you for $12. Take my Soylo ticket money. Not like I'm going to spend it at the theater. Uh, you're so nice. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope uh, this is more, slightly more uh, entertaining than Soylo would be. Commander Jor, thank you for $2. Raikai? 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 How do you pronounce that name? I'd say Rakai is now searching for you in the aisles. All right, well, I'm here. I mean, it shouldn't be hard to find. Um, <laughs> Joseph Citadino, thank you for $20. Ethan, you are a prophet. Solo Leaks revealed Abeloth is not in the film. Watch the Dark Force in the Unknown Region be a new character nobody cares about. My bet is he will be named Emperor Trumpelon and be a white man. Uh, that's a good bet. That's a really good bet. Um, I would bet with you on that. I would go ahead and, in fact, go ahead and double down on that. Uh, good, good chance that that is going to be the case. Um, yeah, argument on Twitter. Somebody's just like, hey, uh, you know, and they sent me this article that was pretty uh, absurd. They're like, hey, you're the guy who talks about SJWs in Star Wars. And uh, I'm like, yeah, we got to get these SJWs out of Star Wars. And then they start talking. They're like, there aren't any SJWs in Star Wars. It's just a bunch of white men that are upset at the way the direction of... The I'm like, you're the SJW in Star Wars. Oh, my God. Yeah, there are no SJWs. It's, it's a white male problem. Perfect. Perfect. I love that. I was thinking about that on the way over. I'm just like, how could they be so utterly, like, um, oh, unself-aware, self-unaware? Uh, thank you, Ty uh, Rant, for $2. Toys R Us has no Wi-Fi. No wonder it's going under. It's just one of the many reasons. Uh, it's just one of the many reasons. I guess this isn't coming through very well. Um, Floofy Coon says the world is dying, and she says that on her birthday. Um, so I, I think Floofy Coon is a girl. I'm just uh, judging by the avatar. Um, yeah, that is sad. That is sad that Toys R Us and Star Wars um, brings despair to people on their birthdays and makes them think that the world is dying because of the toys that they stock. But it's true, the world is dying. Uh, so I don't blame you for thinking that. All right, we're in the DC Comics section. It looks very much like the DC Comics section uh, in Orlando, Florida. Let me just stack these Batmans up properly. This isn't right. Uh, Mech X4, uh, unsuccessful toy line there, I guess. Uh, Transformers. A lot of people ask me to review Transformers. I don't really have much to say about it. Um, thank you, George Ryan, for Canadian $2. There are no children in the Star Wars aisles. Uh, well, there were. There, for, there was for a second, yeah. Uh, but they left. They fled. And mostly, I think they were there to be with their dad. I think the dad was looking at toys. Uh, Tony Nasser, thank you for Australian $10. Your review of the Soylo Millennium Falcon made me want to buy the original 1979 Falcon, which I never had as a child, so I did. Vintage Star Wars will be, will always be superior. Oh, right on, my brother. Congratulations on that purchase. I hope it, uh, hope it's nice. I saw a beat up version in the antique shop and I went, if I ever go and fall into the trap of getting the uh, original toys, I'm just gonna go all out. I will spend whatever it takes to get them brand new, fresh, minty condition. Um, I want the original 12 mint on card uh, that I can hang on my wall. Um, I think that would be pretty cool. They're expensive. They're like eight hundred to two thousand dollars a piece in that condition, though. Uh, Rakai Thwai, thank you for two dollars. I'm gonna try to get there. Oh, great! <laughs> Come see me. I'll be here. You bet. Um, all right, we gotta put this back over here. Rakai, I'm cleaning up your store. Uh, you're not here, Rakai. You're, you're not here, so I'm doing your job for you. I'm straightening up these Batman's. I'm facing them on the shelves properly. What is this doing here? Uh, yeah, this, I don't know what this is, uh, but it doesn't look like it belongs here. It belongs over here. These are absurd too. What do you make these giant, these, these don't sell. Look at, this doesn't sell. Why do you have, it's not just Star Wars. These don't sell. Don't make things like this. CFL Fig Hunter, $10. Thank you. If we raise enough money in Super Chats, will you buy that giant TIE Fighter? Yeah, you guys can buy me that TIE Fighter if you want. It's $100. Anybody who wants to start a fund for the giant TIE Fighter... I think actually it's $105. You guys can do that. I will buy it. I will review it. I will probably uh, 
when I'm done reviewing it, put it under my car tires and back over it. Um, so yeah, just let me, <laughs> let me know if your donation is going towards a TIE fighter. Um, all right, so look what I've done here. I'm straightening up the uh, DC Universe. Uh, that's what I've done my whole career. All right, let's, dun, dun, dun. let's put this over here. Uh, DC, uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, MZ Verena, thank you um, for $1.99. You will have a community visiting you, LOL. Oh, great. Well, that's fine. I mean, you guys can come be on the show if you want to. Um, by, uh, by Timmy 7775 thank you for saying I love you so much. I love you too. I do appreciate your uh, joining the show. We've got 728 people watching me um, fix the shelves, the DC comic shelves at Toys R Us in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Uh, this is, uh, yeah, it's very important. It's got to be entertaining. It's going to be very entertaining. Uh, yeah, some people blowing me kisses. Thank you very much. All right, let's see. Let's make sure these Batman helmets are okay. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, God, it's so depressing that this stuff doesn't sell. What is this? Uh, Rome Gennaro, thank you for $1.99. Ethan, buy a Barbie Tico. They don't make them. I would buy, I'd buy anything Tico. Whenever I see Tico, it's an instant purchase for me. But I mean, I have I have pretty much drained uh, Toys R Us of all Tico. All Tico is mine already. Uh, Kieran Shiak needs a sandwich. That's true. It's a true name. Four dollars and ninety nine cents. Thank you. When are we getting the shirt of you and Rose Tico in the Land Speeder? The one from the W. C Do they have? Wait. Um. The one from the World Class Bullshitters fan page. Did they make um, a picture of me and Rose Tico in a land speeder? Or you mean you just want, uh, I don't know what you mean, but uh, I'll probably do it. I, I would make a shirt of me and Rose Tico in this, definitely. Um, MZ Varina gives me $2, basically says fighter donation, kill it in slow-mo. Okay, I think we're up to, uh, oh, Joseph Citadino. I remember when I was uh, little, those giant toys uh, were like the best thing ever when you got like one at Christmas. Don't even know if kids play with toys anymore with video games and phones around. I don't think they do guys. I don't think they do. So we're up to, I think we're up to $22 for the TIE fighter. Uh, if you guys want to contribute to buying a gigantic TIE fighter, you can send um, a super chat now. We need to get up to, I think $105. We're up to $22. If it means something to you to see a grown man back his car over a TIE fighter, just let me know and uh send a super chat and we will do that uh let's see only incels are boy uh boycotting star wars i agree wait what oh those are the uh <laughs> i just found out what incels were there that's a sad thing people want me to kill the speeder i'm not going to do it absolutely not i'm gonna drag race it down the street um yeah i bought one of these by the way I mean, these are ridiculous right here. Uh, these Hot Wheels Money and Falcon sets. I'm going to review it. Um, it was like, it was like seven dollars. Seven dollars for that. It's a bargain. Everything's going. You know, once this stuff is gone, it's never coming back. This is going to be the end. Utterly the end. Once Toys R Us is gone, there will be no more Star Wars toys. Um, two men in a mic podcast. Uncle, thank you for ten dollars. Uncle Ethan. What do you think about the part of the Soylo movie where we learn how he uh, got, uh, got and obtained his name? My shirt just shipped today. Oh, great. Thank you very much for your support. Um, what do I think of it? I, I think it's clever. I think it's clever, actually, um, uh, from, what I, from what I understand. Um, Rakai, Rakai Thwai, thank you for $2. Almost there. <laughs> oh, no. You guys want to meet Rakai Thwai? Uh, Daedric SMG, thank you for $1.99. Your shirt business should be named Rose Tico. Oh, I didn't even, that's brilliant. Five more dollars for the TIE Fighter. Ask a clerk if they have more Tico stored in the back. Um, okay, uh, Rock O the Crins, thank you for a dollar. I appreciate you. Um, yeah, ask if they have more Tico in the back. Ew, a Kylo Ren toy. Try me, said Lena Dunham. Again, they just act like you woke them up from a nap. That's all they do when you when you press the button. Oh my god. 
a Darth Vader, and it looks like this is from Marvel Comics artwork. Um, Gold Fox 177, thank you for $1.99. All those Hot Wheels Star Wars are trash. Um, shortly they will be. Yeah, they will be filling a landfill somewhere in the New Mexico desert. Um, they will literally be trash uh, in a few moments. All right, so Peter Kelly wants me to ask a clerk if they have more Rose Tico in the back. Uh, sure, let's go, let's go find a clerk and we'll do that. That's what we're all about. They're not going to take that kindly here, I can tell. <laughs> well, let's go do it anyway. Uh, Joseph Citadino, thank you for $5. Uh, one not spoiler for Solo, a character I won't name, is revealed to be as 16-year-old girl and a brand new character. Have fun guessing who. We know, we know. Kiss 10, uh, Chris 10 broke, thank you for $5. Need to see that TIE photo destroyed. Also possible, buy more Tico. I'm going to ask right now. Okay, here we go. We're up to the um, guest services counter. Guest services. All right, I'm not putting you on camera. I'm live streaming to 784 people right now uh, about Toys R Us and Star Wars toys. My fans would like to know, do you have any more Star Wars Rose Tico action figures in the back or is everything on the shelf right now? Everything's on the shelf. Okay, guys, everything is on the shelf. Do you want to say hi to them or no? No. <laughs> I figured they wouldn't. Okay, thank you for your help. Well, they said hi, but they don't want to be filmed. So, very good. Um, okay, Rakai Thwai says he's just around the corner. Thank you for $2. Uh, yeah, I'm talking to your coworkers. They're saying bad things about you. <laughs> uh, yeah, live streaming to about 800 nerds. That's pretty cool. All right, so no, we have no more Tico. Everything is out on the shelves right now. Uh, but of course, uh, when I am super chatted, I do do what I am requested to do, even when it's uh, embarrassing, like asking for more Tico. Who needs more Tico? Who needs more Tico? Um, yeah, uh, so let's see. What are we doing? We're getting the Millennium Falcon so far. We have to get this. This is so nice. I mean, this is actually really nice. Uh, Goldfox177, thank you for $1.99. Have you ever seen a Holdo to uh, toy? No, they made them. I saw pictures of uh, a Holdo, uh, 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 which one call them? Hot toy, hot toy Holdo. Uh, I have tried to buy one of those. I cannot find it. Uh, they never made an action figure, and you would think that they would have made uh, an action figure. Um, Joseph Citadino, thank you for ten dollars. I actually like Kylo. Uh, out of all the bad writing in the sequels, he's actually done well. He doesn't save the films, but I find it funny that the evil white men is written better. White man is written better than the heroine. Well, naturally. I mean, just, you know. Uh, Christopher Burkhill, thank you for Australian $7.99. What percentage of your super chats do you actually get? I think two thirds, maybe a little more. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really complain about it, though. Uh, YouTube does take quite a, take a healthy chunk. Um, Rob Tintel, not. Thank you for $5. Poop on the TIE fighter, then run it over. Probably won't do all of that. Um, Samantha Mendoza says, frick you. Um, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, so, um, all right. Gotta watch out because I know that guy is coming here any second. Any second. We have not found anything um, else beyond this. I've gotten the, this. I've gotten this. And I'm, I'm really happy to have found this, actually. This is going to be fun to review. Uh, yeah. This I'm on the edge about. This I'm, is a definite yes. This needs to be reviewed. This needs to be drop kicked out the window. Um, what happened here? Oh, somebody said, okay, wow. Did I miss it? Oh, Canadian $100. Drive over the TIE fighter. I am in. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Rakai Thwe. Oh, Rakai. Okay, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, uh, but my real name is Phil. Okay, Phil. I've been working here for three years. Phil, here's the problem. Um, your co-worker said there's no Tico in the back. That's true. Whatever we have out is what we have out. We're trying to get rid of our inventory as quick as possible. How do you feel, Phil, knowing the Toys R Us is only going to last one more month? And then what? Then what do we do? What do actually, it's funny that you mentioned that because uh, I'm actually trying to uh, get out of poverty. And I've had this shop for three years. Yeah. And uh, this is all to support my mom. Unbelievable. Yeah. So basically, Star Wars bankrupted Toys R Us. I'd it's going to leave you unemployed. Who would you? What would you blame? 
of Toys R Us Corporate and, and uh, you know, Disney, you know. Disney, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, Do you have a new job yet? Not yet. I'm, I'm currently looking. Okay. Yeah. Cherry Hill Mall is right over there. I'm sure they're I know, actually going to... I've actually lived in New, uh, New Jersey for at least uh, 27 years of my life. Yeah. 30. Yeah. You no, know, I don't look it, but... Uh, yeah. You do. You look good. You're holding up. You look yeah, yeah, 20. But so do I, right? No, <laughs> no maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> Did but, but, you see his face? He's like, I don't know. If you're I like, follow you on YouTube. And, uh, yeah. Uh, um, I, I am aware of what's going on in the comic industry. You know, I, I read comic books. I'm, I'm a big Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan. But, um, you know, regarding what's going on with comics, yeah. uh, I can say that it's, uh, it's, it's terrible what's going on. You know, yeah, it Marvel is. Marvel being the comic mafia. Yeah. It's, it's not just Marvel. It's it's a lot. It's a it's a kind of broad kind of little group of people on the fringes of comics that have become the mafia. It's a, it's I just, heard about what happened with anarchic press and everything. You know, I, you know, I'm I'm not into politics. I think no. politics is the worst thing to happen to humanity. Totally. Um, you know, I, I, you could say I'm a centralist or, or neutral. You know, but then again, I I don't subscribe to any political party. But um, you know what's going on with comics it's it's terrible it is yeah so, but but i've been working here for three years and you know i work boys and girls this entire area i work yeah so um seeing a lot of the star wars stuff you know i tell my friends you know this stuff isn't selling it isn't it's not selling except to me to be fair oh, phil yeah, yeah um but you know we, the, the Lance Peters, yeah. We got 25 of those in the back. Make it 24. Because I'm walking out of one, uh, here with one today. Today. It's going to be huge. Yeah. And I'm going to test it. We're going to see why people didn't buy it. What do you think? What is the reason why people did not buy the Land Speeder? Uh, probably because of the fact that, you know, uh, a lot of Toys R Us stuff is overpriced. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the fact that, you know, The Last Jedi was a major contributor to that. It was horrible, wasn't it? I didn't Objectively. See it. You didn't even see it. Didn't even see it. Why didn't you see it? Just because... Well, you're probably going to hate me for this, but I'm a bit of a Star Wars hater. Really? Yeah. Welcome to uh, Comic Artist Pro Secrets. We're all becoming Star Wars haters now. We're Star Wars lovers that have become Star Wars haters. I, believe it, I actually used to be a Star Wars fan when I was really, really little. And so yeah. the uh, Attack of the Clones came out, and then I'm just like, I'm so done. And then Dark Horse started pumping out nothing but Star Wars comics. They, you know, got rid of their Alien vs. Predator comics, you know, which... Uh, I was a big fan of. Uh, I kind of reverted back to TMNT because uh, I'm not happy with what they're doing with Alien and Predator. But uh, back to Star Wars. Um, yeah. A lot of this stuff is not going anywhere. The latest that this store will close is supposed to be June 30th. That's when they said, yeah, that's when they told me it was going to close yeah, for good. Close June, June 30th. Um, I hope none of my coworkers see this because... Uh, and again, it doesn't, even it really doesn't matter. matter. It doesn't you're going to be matter. out of here in a month. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Phil, you're going to land on your feet. You really are. I believe in you. I think you're a smart guy. You're handsome. You're Thank young. You. Yeah. You're determined. Come here. Give me a hug. Yeah. Give me a hug, buddy. Yeah. It's going to be all right. Yeah. We're going to get through this t uh, together, this mess. Yeah. Um, <laughs> another thing that that's not selling is a lot of the uh, Marvel, Spider-Man, no. Legend stuff. We got a lot of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Um we got a lot of Black Widow stuff. A lot of it's Civil War. You'd think that this stuff would sell, but for some reason, it's not flying off the shelves because the Marvel Cinematic Universe is really taking off really well. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll tell you why it's not. And, you know, we all know this. I mean, uh, it is... Uh, yeah. This is... It doesn't matter that this is a female character. This is a male property. This is what they don't understand. They think if they put more female characters in male properties... It's funny that you say that because we also have... Marvel fashion lines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, they're not selling. They're not going anywhere. We've had these since, like, I think, uh, uh, early January, late December, probably, you know, November. They're not going anywhere. I yeah. I've seen nobody buy these. Same thing with the uh, uh, Forces of Destiny. They're not going anywhere. Yeah. So, and, and this is pretty much what I do. I've been doing this for three years, going up and down these aisles, trying to maintain them. Um... I will say this, this Toys R Us is the cleanest and nicest Toys R Us that I've been in. I just got back from uh, Orlando, and it was uh, dreadful. Yeah, uh, uh, the one in Burlington's closed down for good already. Yeah, I've been to the Burlington one. That, that one's nice. Um, I've heard that uh, on one of your videos that you were a resident of Merchant World. That's where I grew up. That's where you grew up. Oh, 
I'm from, I, I, um, I actually uh, lived in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, for the first three years of my life. Then I lived in Pensacola. Yeah. Uh, you know, border Merchantville. So yeah, it, it's funny that that we're both you know people from Pensacola, Merchantville. And we're both suffering from the same uh, the same strain. Yeah. The the end the SJW uh, infection of of you know pop culture again this is it. It, it 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 does come down to this right here um this here this is the problem stop it uh civil war of, of uh, women will go girls will go and see these movies but they're not going to buy the toys they don't really want to get involved past that they have their other they have a other agenda they have other ideas most girls do not like this there are some that do but trying to actually get enough involved so that they'll support a toy line like this uh, is is not going to work. It, it just ends up uh, in in pain. It ends up with people screaming in pain, wondering why, wondering why. What happened? What happened? Well, if I might say, um, it's because you know Kathleen Kennedy is currently pushing an agenda that just does not belong in the realm of entertainment anywhere. And kind of in defense of you know the Black Widow place, that's you know I mean if little girls want to be Black Widow, that's great. Yeah. But you know if they want to be princesses, that's great. But that's just my opinion. You know I'm a centralist. Well, you're a fellow South Jerseyan, Phil. Thank you so much for coming on. I yeah. do appreciate you. Um, yeah, I wish you could have been here a little while ago to help me with your coworkers because they shunned me. They said, get out of here. There are no Tico in the back. But you told me that that was true. There is no Tico. There's no Tico in the back. I mean, you guys are the only store now. I don't think I bought you out of Tico. I don't think I, I might have. I have like 25 Ticos now if you're watching my channel, uh, yeah, so it's I, I possible. I saw you uh, toying around with one a couple, and, and especially the Black Series one. Uh, <laughs> um, I, I could have, I, I wish I could have attended the uh, the Rose Tico, uh, the Slave uh, Leia Bikini Rose Tico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure that pissed off a lot of people. I made a lot of people happy, and I think that's the main thing. It made a lot, a lot of people happy to see Rose Tico. Uh, in a slave Leia bikini. Now, Phil, I do have to purchase one of these. Um, it was bought for me uh, in Super Chat, so let's get this thing in the cart. Uh, this is just too much, too much uh, Star Wars Toys R Us yeah. uh, stuff for the day. Yeah. All right, buddy. Thank you for coming by. Yeah, yeah. It's a pleasure to see you. The fans are all saying hi. Everybody say hi. Hey. <laughs> all right, we'll see you later. Watch this tonight. Watch this oh, on the absolutely. replay. Absolutely, yeah. All right, brother. Take care. All right, so that was good. I mean, it's good to actually meet subscribers in person. I mean, people who watch the show, people who are fans, who just kind of come by and, uh, and want to be a part of it, want to talk about their point of view. And you could see, I mean, you know, Phil is, is one of these guys who has been affected by this, deeply affected by this. It's easy to go around and just kind of say, uh, oh, you know, what can I do? How can I do my part? You know, how can I do my part by purchasing some of this stuff? But it's too late. I mean, it's just too late. This stuff is, has already destroyed Toys R Us. <sighs> and, I mean, things that people want, like huggable wrestler figures, half-naked men. These aren't going to have an opportunity to sell, you know, uh, anymore. Uh, you, can't, you can't get your kid one of these. Uh, you're going to have to order it from the Internet. You can't actually uh, go and, um, and purchase one of these at Toys R Us anymore. Uh, let me catch up on Super Chats. That is important. I saw a bunch coming in. Um, thank you for the... Uh, by the way, thank you for the TIE Fighter. We are going to bring that home. That's going to be interesting. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Okay, so that was Rex that paid for most of the TIE Fighter. Um, MZ Varina, $1.99. No child like Wookiee like yours? I'm sad. Uh, I, I don't know. MZ Varina, I don't know wh which Wookiee you're referring to. Um, Tyrant, thank you for $2. Kick the hater, LOL. <laughs> Somebody said frick you or something to me. Um, Joseph Citadino, uh, $2, thank you. Only Darth Jar Jar can save Star Wars now. It's a good idea. That would be an interesting plot point. JP Go, uh, Got Rockets, thank you for $5. Taco Tico, come to Lexington, Kentucky. Comic-Con next spring, I will buy your lunch EVS. Thank you, I'll take you up on that. Uh, GoFox177, thank you for nine ninety nine. So will you be getting the big TIE Fighter? It is in the cart now. I only came here for a land speeder and I ended up getting quite a few more things. Uh, Joseph Citadino, thank you for $5. A friend's... A family friend's little niece is into boy stuff like Sonic and Pokemon, and even she doesn't buy action figures, just the games and stuffed animals. Uh, Christopher Burkle, thank you for uh, Australian two ninety nine. Me, many a soy load were spilled over Slave Tico. Uh, it's true. And Tyrant, thank you for two dollars. You are truly a good person. Take my shekel, sir. Uh, you're too kind. Thank you so much. Uh, I mean, look, you know, you people. 
I'll tell you, it is. It does kind of. You know, my show is supposed to be flippant. <laughs> it's like it's supposed to be funny, uh, but it's not so funny. It's not so funny when you think about the real world damage um, the Kathleen Kennedy and Ryan Johnson did with a single film. Uh, and I, I do think it was just the one film. I think Force Awakens teetered it over the over the brink a little bit, um, but Ryan Johnson came and kicked it off the edge uh, while saying, uh, "I'm the kind of guy." See, you hear the children screaming in agony. That's what's going on in the world right now. The, just the agony of, of just Toys R Us dying, Star Wars killing it. Children can't contain themselves. Um, Mega Monkey Chunk, thank you for Canadian $2. So as I was saying, yeah, Ryan Johnson came in and he's like Charlie Brown finally kicking the football. The football being Star Wars uh, and its legacy and potential future, kicking it over the edge of the cliff. Um, and uh, it has, it has uh, been destroyed. Um, it is very, very sad. Uh, yeah, RJ purposely killed 50% of Star Wars profits, and here they all are. Here they all are. Uh, I'm, I'm getting these toys ridiculously discounted, 30% off. I think more than 30% off, in fact. They're already discounted. Um, and, uh, this is all a result of Ryan Johnson. And you look at his smirking, smug little video about making films that only smart people get. Smart people like dummy Ryan Johnson. And then you look at Phil, you meet Phil and you say, Phil used to have a job. Phil is not going to have a job. He's trying to climb out of poverty. He's trying to get himself stabilized. Um, you know, and, and meanwhile, you've got smirking jackasses with perfectly round heads laughing about it. That is the world that we live in. Could my channel become angry? I mean, over things like this, it's possible. I, I mean, I, I do feel uh, people's pain. I feel the pain of those children. I feel the pain of Phil. Uh, all I can try to do is bring some sunshine and laughter into the world. Uh, that is what I'm trying to do. But yeah, I mean, it is, it is bad out there. It is really bad out there. Um, all right, so I think we've milked this Star Wars section pretty dry. Unfortunately, yeah, I cannot find the Wookiee um, that you guys are looking for. I would purchase it if I did. Um, what is this? I keep seeing this everywhere. This is just Darth Vader in a whole lot of packaging. It's just Darth Vader. That's it, huh? $30 for a giant-sized Darth Vader. And it doesn't even... By the way, it's meant to look like the original um, action figure from 1978. It doesn't look like it. Look at it. Just just do the... Just, just re... It's the same... Don't do that. Make bad choices. Just put me in charge of everything. I'll fix it all. Uh, yeah, so we say goodbye, I think, to, um, uh, to Toys R Us here. Uh, look at this. Uh, by the way, I didn't even notice this for girls, a stick for girls. There's something about Hasbro Star Wars and, and, and arming people with sticks. Here you go. Here's a stick. I think we got some super chats and I missed. Let me double check that. Uh, Lens Quest, thank you for $40. Please buy a Lego Star Wars set for review. Um, okay, I will. I'll find a $40 Lego Star Wars set for review. Um, Mega Monkey Chunk, thank you for Canadian $2. I think you missed my $5 super chat about Hot Wheels. Okay, let me find that. Um, oh wait, your name was Mega Monkey Chunk. Scrolling backwards to see if I can find your super chat here. I, I'm actually learning to work this pretty well. So, uh, you know, in terms of just, oh, here we go. Oh, all right. Mega Monkey Chunk, thank you for the Canadian $5. Uncle Ethan, get more Hot Wheels character cars. I got the Soylo Ren, Sexy Snoke, and Boba Bosk packs two days ago from Toys R Us. They were on clearance. So you would like me to buy some Hot Wheels. Okay. Um, what is it my choice? Do I get to choose uh, which Hot Wheel I want? Um, let me see. Let's go back to live chat. Yeah, let me know. Uh, let's see. EVS, do you think the solo film is going to be lower Rotten Tomatoes than The Last Jedi? Um, I hope so. I think it should be. Oh, look at this. What is going on here? Oh, a lightsaber room light. A lightsaber room light. So you can post this on your wall. This is pretty cool. I mean, they have they have quality stuff. It's just, from, it, it supports movies that nobody liked. You know, it's like the Star Wars toys are actually like better now than they ever were before. Um, but nobody likes Star Wars anymore. Um, Daedric SMG, thank you for $1.99. What does the inside of Tico's Tauntaun smells like? That's not nice. Uh, I, I wouldn't know, sir. I wouldn't know. Um, let's see. Did I miss anything else? Uh, Rome Gennaro, thank you for $1.99. JK Rowling selling wands for $50 a piece. 
Uh, what does she need the money for? I hope it's going to charity. She's got to be a billionaire. I mean, I don't, I don't fault anybody for wanting to make money, but God. Um, let's see. It's not a stick, it's a staff. People are saying, get it. Um, let's see, I don't want to get that. Uh, I will get a Hot Wheel, though, and I got to get a Lego set. Uh, ooh. X-Wing Fighter, what else do they have? So we basically, we have these two Hot Wheels. I will get both of them for that Super Chat. And uh, that is, those are the only two choices that I have right now. So that is what we're going to do. Now let's go look at Legos and let's fulfill that other Super Chat request. Uh, I, you know, I haven't put together a Lego set since Hunter was a kid. And then I had to put one together almost every day. Uh, we bought a ton of Star Wars Legos when he was a kid. Uh, here we are on Legos. Uh, here we go. Here's Star Wars. And there are a lot of big sets here. Legos are only 15% off. Now, here's the thing. Uh, Legos are... Um, uh, Andrew's going to be pissed. <laughs> no, Andrew, Andrew understands this at this point. Um, yeah, let's see. So, Legos are not going to go down in price, really. Not too much. 15%. People will always like Legos. They will always like Legos. Um... Let's see, what looks good? I mean, I guess the speeder, no, it all looks bad. Uh, oh, it's the Luke Skywalker, is this the Luke Skywalker humiliation scene? I, I kind of like the Luke Skywalker humiliation Lego set. I will get the Star Wars uh, Luke Skywalker humiliation set. You gave me $40, I think, so I gotta get something else. Um, yeah, I would like to put together a Lego uh, model of Luke Skywalker's utter humiliation. Um, that should be fun. Ooh, look, all right, so we've got a little TIE fighter. I'll get two of these, one of these. And um, I don't know, is that, they have TIE fighters and then they have this dude. What is this? That's not safe. That isn't safe to fly around on. What, oh, Boba Fett? No, Boba Fett is... Ew. Actually, it doesn't look so bad, does it? Eh. I don't know. Well, I could get the Boba Fett and then not get the TIE Fighter. That actually makes sense. That is the proper uh, amount of money. Uh, Fett, let's see. Joseph Citadino, thank you for $10. Do you think Darth Jar Jar, if he became real, is a good way to explain uh, uh, The Last Jedi Luke? I mean, the theory claims... He's a master of force mind control uh, to be able to control force users like qui and Palpatine. Uh, I would watch it. I would definitely watch it. Absolutely. Let's see. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Sometimes I, I turn my eyes away and then you guys get upset because I missed a super chat or something. I don't want to miss any of them. And Andrea does monitor this. Um, $2. Spend this on a Star Wars Pez near the register. Thank you, Midnight Cherry TV. All right, I will. Oh, uh, okay. I did miss some. Go Fox, you guys stop. <laughs> Go Fox with dollar seventy-seven. I mean, uh, one seventy-seven. Thank you for twenty-five dollars. Buy the lightsaber, room light, or race stick. This is getting embarrassing. Um, Mega Monkey Chunk, thank you for Canadian five dollars. Uncle Ethan, take my money and get whatever cars you want. Though it's tough to beat the Snoke. He's almost as sensual as his action figure. Ooh. Uh, all right, so. All right, so we got to get either the stick. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Look at my shopping cart. This is stupid, guys. And I haven't even put the land speeder in yet. We can't just buy Star Wars toys all day long. How am I going to make videos of all this? This is crazy. All right, let's get, uh, let's fulfill that super chat. I got $25 to spend on either the stick or the lightsaber. I think I'm more interested in the lightsaber than the stick. The stick is stupid as hell. Um, but let's find out how much the stick is. Okay, so the stick is only $12.99. Um, let's see. I, I can't see how much the lightsaber room light is. Your super chat might have bought both of them, in which case that's fine. I don't think this is going to be too... <laughs> stop, stop, sending, stop telling me to buy things. I can't fit everything in my car. All right, hold on, hold on. Let's find out how much this is here. Uh, where's the... Where's the thing? I would not, oh yeah, here it is. Um, 
let's see. So it's $13.99. I mean, basically, I can get this and the stick then for $25. We don't have to make a choice. We can get both of them. Um, this is embarrassing. This is the most embarrassing purchase I've ever made in my life right here. Uh, yeah. But we'll do it. We will do it for you guys. Oh, my God. All right, what's going on now? Uh, MZ Varina one dollar ninety nine. Thank you. Could Andrea create a costume for Tico that's sexy? Um, I think I did. I think the uh, Java's Palace costume looked pretty good on her. Fr uh, fried dirt. Thank you for five dollars. Shout out to Stephanie Kenobi and Abu Nas. Also, do you feel more outraged or bemu bemused? Um, all of those things. It really depends. I, you know, uh, mostly, mostly bemused. But sometimes they do piss me off. Sometimes the articles. And thinking about Ryan Johnson's attitude uh, does piss me off. Today's whole thing about uh, Lando Calrissian is going to have a solo movie. Oh, whoops. No, he's not. That's bemusing. That's just funny. That's the garbage Star Wars. Star Wars socks. Uh, if I see them, I will. Thank you for the super chat. Critical Kaiju. Thank you for $2.99. If they still stock comics, buy a Star Wars book with this. Uh, I don't think they do. Um, I'll look, though. Richard Coyle, uh, thank you for $2. Get the lactating space walrus action set. Uh, it doesn't exist. Let me move out. There's a family coming through. Let me move. Um, but thank you for $2. Mike, uh, shall say, shall say, shall see. Um, $30, thank you. Buy yourself something pretty. Um, okay, so it won't be a Toys R Us. Thank you. Um, Joseph Citadino, thank you for $5. Last but not least, use all my cash I've handed you um, with all my super chats to buy a Jar Jar if you can find one. They don't have them anymore. They don't do that anymore. Uh, Darth Tico needs her Sith Master. If they had a Jar Jar, I would buy it, but they don't. Uh, GoFox177, thank you for $3.99. That's too cool, LOL. Um, Joseph Citadino, thank you for $2. A Lego set with Jar Jar minifig counts too. Well, we'll go back and look, but I just knocked a pretty kitty off the shelf, sir. Off the shelf. Uh, we'll go back and look, but I, I don't think, I think Jar Jar is basically unavailable these days. Um, live chat. Okay. Yeah. Making a mess here. What is this? It's a soy boy action figure. Nice. Very cool. All right. Uh, break it. You buy it. I hope that's not the case. Cause I'm going to, well, actually I'm going to buy it and then break it. Okay. Now come on with that. What the, what, is, what the, f oh, that is disturbing. That is that mouth is open too wide for a bottle nipple. You gotta stop it. It is. It's soy face. All right, we are looking for a Jar Jar Binks something, but I really think that um, there is going to be no Jar Jar available. Oh, back to the Legos here, and they don't have a good Lego selection either for Star Wars. There's nothing on this end cap. Looking around. Hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, they have this horrible thing. I don't want this. I don't, I don't want any of this. I don't want any of this. Uh, this is kind of cool. This has uh, Chewbacca and old man Han Solo. Um, Rathkar, Rathar Escape. Rathar Escape. Um, yeah, I really think I got the best one, though. <gasps> oh, what the... Oh my God, I didn't even notice this. My heart is skipping a beat. My heart is skipping a beat right now. Oh my God, that is fabulous. I, I, I don't know, um, I'm gonna put back, guys, do you care if I put back the Boba Fett and get this instead? Is that okay with the chat? Yeah, I, I'm gonna put the Boba Fett back. I, I like the Boba Fett and all, but this is, yeah, Lego Tico. I can't believe I didn't notice that before. Oh, my God. You look good, sweetie. You look good. Look at your little wig that you can put on. Oh, my God. I'm going to build this. I will actually build this set. Terrific. Absolutely terrific. I'm glad we found that. So whoever sent me um, to get the Jar Jar Lego, uh, it's a good thing that you did. Good things came of it. All right, so now I'm going to have to figure out how to get all this in my car. Fortunately, I drive an SUV alone, a big SUV, uh, leaving a carbon 
footprint the size of Godzilla. Uh, I do drive it alone by myself, big SUV, uh, so that my laughter can echo when I think about the uh, imp impact I'm having on the environment. Um, okay, so this is, uh, this is it. How are we gonna do this? How are we gonna do this? Um, let's see, I need, yeah, tools needed. I need those. I can fit this in my, I know I can fit it in my trunk. I'm sure of it. It's, it's not that, it's how am I gonna fit it? I'm gonna have to buy all this stuff and then come back for this. I, I, I'm all by myself. I sent Phil home. <laughs> I think he's home. I don't know. All right, let's go find out how much this all rings up to. This is going to be like $2,000 worth of Star Wars garbage. Um, but, you know, it's better that we buy it and throw it away than they just throw it away uh, not having sold it. Yeah, where is Phil when you need him? All right, so we're next in line. Toys R Us is empty. It's empty. Uh, thank you, Parallax Spectre, for $5. Hi, Uncle Ethan. Get a Star Wars candy. Oh, I got to get a Pez dispenser. Somebody bought me a Pez dispenser. Uh, Star Wars Pez? There's Justice League. Uh, I, we have Star Wars sunglasses. I'm going to get the Star Wars sunglasses because I, I just don't think they have Star Wars Pez. I will look. Um, there is a Star Wars bed set. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't, this is what I'm getting instead of the Pez dispenser because all they have is they have Justice League. I think. Wait, what's the, yeah, that's all Justice League. Um, and it's a shame. I mean, I've seen Ray, uh, Pez dispensers, but, uh, I'm not seeing them here. So I, I will spend that super chat money on this pair of sunglasses, which will not fit my head. It won't fit on my head. Um, okay, here we go. Hi. I'm not filming you, I promise you. We got a lot of Star Wars stuff that was actually purchased by these people. Um, and I need to get um, one of those land speeders over there too. Somebody bought me one of those. Those big giant ride-on land speeders. So how, what should we do? Should we get like the, the UPC code or whatever? And... Oh, the, the, the thing you drive in? Yeah. Oh, I need to get one of these. Somebody just bought me one of these. MZ Verena, thank you for $1.99. I would love to be in line behind you. There isn't anyone. There isn't anyone. I mean, it's, it's pretty empty right now. Yeah, you see the, the land speeder that's up there on the... Yeah, I need one of those. This is it, guys. Uh, whoops. Uh, yeah, so, uh, also, you allowed to talk about Rob Granito. This is Parallax Spectre. Heard you had words with him once, you rock. Yeah, that was, like, uh, eight years ago. Uh, I don't know. We'll talk about it. If you want to ask me about it, you can ask me about it, but this is, like, all, this is all Toys R Us, all Star Wars right now. I can absolutely talk about it. I don't really care. How much money is this? Uh, it, it's a lot. It's a lot. This is a crazy st amount of uh, stuff that you guys uh, purchased. <laughs> yeah, Toys R Us Star Wars shopping spree. Mr. P Channel, thank you for $2. Uh, Uncle Evan, where is the store located? This is in Cherry Hill, New Jersey. You can come visit uh, anytime. Yeah, all right, so we're going to... I'm talking to you guys, and she's like, Hey, uh, you ready to start paying? All right, so we got this. You guys can see all the all the junk that's in my cart. We got, this is, I like the Legos. Actually, the Legos turned out pretty good. Um, how much was that effing TIE fighter? Mine was 175. You wanna know how much this was? All right, hold on. Uh, make sure you use your rewards card. I don't have a Toys R Us rewards card. <laughs> and even if I did, <laughs> what would it do? Uh, yeah. Uh, Joseph Sedino says, you missed two of my super chats. Okay, well, hang on, Joe. I will get to them. Are they relevant? Do I need to know them now? Do you need someone to take it out for you? Uh, almost certainly, yeah. Okay. All right, so we got a landslide. The toys. I'll help you. This is kind of hard to do, huh? 
All right, let me take that bag without doxing anyone, okay? Did we pay for the Millennium Falcon yet? Did I pay for this? Did this? No, no, okay. All right, so let's watch the prices ring up. $13.99, uh, it looks like, yeah. Snow Speeder, $25.89. Millennium Falcon, $104. Wow, that is great. That is great. Mega Monkey Chunk, thank you for Canadian $5. Uncle Ethan, uh, next time you're in Canada, come shop at Toys R Us. They're apparently not closing any of them here. Lots of Soy Wars toys to go around. You are lucky. You're very lucky. Uh, yeah. All right, so what is it? So, Ethan is the last customer. No, I'm not. I'm, I'll be here. Um, I will be here on June 30th, though. I'll be here on the last day. Russell Brown, thank you for $1.99. Uh, if cheap, I want a second one to open and display. Uh, oh, the TIE fighter, you mean? Okay. She's going to scan that right now. Ready? 149 No, 104 So, $104.99 for the TIE fighter. Okay. Are we done? Yeah. Oh, we... Did you get the... Yeah, we did. Okay. Hold on. I'm putting you guys down. So, everything went down to $490.92. $490.92 for the Star Wars toys. That is the total. You ready, sir? Okay. I, you guys are sitting on the counter right now, by the way. Yep, it's a lot. But I mean, you know, if you see how much junk this is. Good. Cards away. Cannot cannot get doxxed. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, so I got to come back in and get that land speeder. Oh, yeah, and maybe this too. Can you do that? All right, great. Let's go, guys. Got a lot of stuff. Uh, all right, so let us let me just catch up. Joseph Citadino, $5. Note that for my second Miss Super Chat, Lego Sith lightsabers would be included for both of them. Okay, hold on. Just one second, let me catch up. Mm. Uh, 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 that's too cool. Okay, Joseph said, did you know, $5. If, though if you get a Lego Jar Jar, you're able to also get a Lego Tico. Always two there are. Okay, so we did get a Tico. Uh, $10 from Joseph. Uh, Ethan, if you get, Joseph said, uh, Ethan, if you get Lego Tico, if you wish, I can send you a Lego Jar Jar in full Sith regalia and a Sith Lego body to swap um, her from Resistance Disguised Rose to Darth Tico Jar Jar's Apprentice. Uh, oh, interesting. Okay. Um, Parallax Spectre, $5. Hi, Uncle Ethan. Get a Star Wars candy. Are you allowed to talk about Robin? Okay, we got that. Um, MZ Verena, would love to be in line behind you. Um, Jesse N, $5. Are you going to do a Viking funeral with the land speeder? Maybe put a full size Tico in it. These are all good ideas. Mr. Pete Channel, $2. Uncle Evan, where is the store located? Cherry Hill, New Jersey. Russell Brown, $1.99. How much is that effing TIE fighter? We got that. Two of Super Chats. Uh, if cheap, okay. Um, uh, People Circus, two pounds. Two pounds towards it. Shout out to my Twitter, People Circus. Thank you very much. D. Howison, thank you for Australian, $2. Was the Milkable Soy Biped Plush sold out? It must have been because I didn't see it and I would have loved to have one. All right, so they've got my land speeder up here waiting. I gotta pull the car around. Oh my gosh. Andrea said to me, she said, we, sh we probably shouldn't come with because, uh, you know, there's gonna be no room to put the land speeder. And she didn't even think about this. I wouldn't, there wouldn't be room in the car to put this stuff. Craziness. Milkable, you're joking. <laughs> yeah, the land speeder is gonna be for Ava. Uh, I'm sure she will love it. I hope the car is basically empty. Uh, let's see. Da, da. No room for children. Oops. Let me put that back down again. As you can see. Hi, it's me. I don't care. I'm not Zach. You guys know what I look like. I'm not worried about being doxxed. 
I do the face reveal every now and then. I'm gonna put this in the seat right where Andrea would be if she didn't wisely decide to stay home. No, I'm not wearing soy pants. I'm wearing uh, <laughs> Brooks Brothers white shorts. Yeah. All right, very good. Andrea has been replaced with Star Wars toys. Uh, such is the case. All right, got to keep my phone down. You can look at puddles as we walk towards my vehicle. And uh, yeah, welcome to New Jersey, South Jersey. All kinds of goofy stuff. Ugh. I mean, come on now. Uh, let's see. Yell back. <laughs> He's like, oh, damn. Uh, Zach Funk, thank you for $2. We know what Zach looks like. Yeah, we do now. He has completely and totally uh, doxxed himself. All right, guys. Um, yeah. Joseph Citadino, uh, thank you for $2. What are soy pants? I'm out of the loop on that. I have some joggers that people think are soy pants. They're just sweatpants. I mean, come on now. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am going to pick it right back up when I get home. A lot of you, I'm going to get it. I have to pull the car up. Should I do that? All right, we'll do that. I can drive and uh, live stream at least uh, to the front of the Toys R Us door here. No, we're gonna we're gonna keep going. You guys do need to see the land speeder actually enter my car. And that that was like nearly was that like five hundred dollars on Star Wars toys? I mean, it's all worth it. It's all worth it. But oh my gosh, Andrea is gonna be like, get that junk into the basement right now. When I get home, watch. It's gonna be funny. She's probably watching. Bam bam bam. Also, they have my, I think they have my TIE fighter in there. I couldn't get it into the, uh, couldn't get it into the trunk. Yeah, 200, it's $500 worth of hopes and dreams. Despair. Let me put on my hazards. Ugh. Crushed hopes and dreams. All right, trunk is going up. And here comes the land speeder. And I think it can fit in there. I think it can do it. Here he comes. It's got to go right in there. What do you think? We might have trouble. Let me just flatten out that seat. Let's see if it works now. All right, we did it. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, don't go anywhere. If I have cash, I do. Here you go, thank you very much. All right, always tip people. Always tip people who help you, it's important. All right, guys, we did it. We did it. We've got everything that we came for. And uh, I do appreciate all of you hanging out with me. Thank you for the amazing amount of super chats. Uh, thank you for buying me this stuff. I will make good videos um, based on it. Johnny Dollar, thank you for $5. Uncle Ethan, you have to do a cover of a song, Head Like a Hole, but make it Toad in a Hole. That is a great idea. You guys, I mean, one of the reasons why I love this community is you guys are so very creative. Uh, and, uh, I like when you ask me, um, yeah, someone behind me is honking. Go around me. I like when you guys ask me to do creative things. It's very inspiring. All right, let me say anything else. Um, down forward punch. Thank you for $5. I saw Rose Tico tied up with duct tape in the trunk. The Pee Wee, thank you for $1.99. 
Um, okay, with that, I think we're all, Jesse N, thank you for $2. I got my Soylo t-shirt, posted it on your Twitter. You are the man. Everyone is getting their Soylo t-shirts uh, starting today. We got ours. Uh, they're of great quality. Andrea was very, very pleased uh, with the quality of the shirts. And um, I, I just said, this is historic. I mean, this is our first t-shirt together. Uh, from here, you know, we're going to do much, much better, much more interesting and much more fun uh, merchandise. Um, for this, I, just pushed, I just pushed this stick out of the way. Get out of here. Uh, all right. So anyway, I got to go now. I'm driving home. Everybody's upset that I'm just sitting here. Great, great fun. Great live stream. I'll see you guys later tonight. Bye.